Hello, my name is Omataya Alua Femi. I also go by Taya, and I'm an economics major with a French and marketing minor at West Virginia University, where I attend the John Chambers College of Business and Economics. Now, some of my career goals, I'm actually kind of pivoting towards like the finance route of econ, and I hope to be able to work with people. I want to work towards being like a financial consultant, and then eventually I want to like kind of end it all with being a professor and being able to give that knowledge back and giving that experience back to other people. My name's Adolph Niedermeyer. I am a professor emeritus of the Department of Accounting West Virginia University. My favorite memory of my 43 years was the student involvement. I told them when I started out that I was always going to have fun. And if they were ready, they'd have fun too. And over 43 years, that was my mantra. If you have scholarships available within your discipline, you attract better students. Hello, my name is Nina Hahn. I'm an economics major here at the John Chambers College of Business and Economics and I'm a scholarship recipient of the Chambers College. Now I was looking for that intersection of data analysis and public service. And eventually I found my way into the world of public policy and what a policy analyst does and I knew that that was exactly what I wanted to do. My scholarships have completely eliminated that thought of even having to worry about you know, tuition and I know that's, that is such a blessing, that's such an opportunity that I will never, you know, never really be able to like completely say thank you to because the only thing I feel like I can do is come back and do the same thing to someone else. You know, I am where I am today because of WVU and the opportunity provided to me. I was a first generation college student. So it's, it's important to give back. From my personal perspective, three scholarships made available to the university. They are endowed type so that each year the earnings of those scholarships go to support the students. The scholarship I had, you know, had a name to it. You know, I never ended up get, getting to meet them, but you know, I always did like have like a figure in my mind, you know, like this person directly is contributing to my education, you know, like having that in the back of my mind, like, okay, don't slack off because, you know, this is like something special and they put in this, you know, tangible thing into your life. Well, I think now with the new name, new building, the future of the college is bright. So I would just like to make a positive statement that it can't be any more rewarding than to give back to those that have launched you. I think COVID has really shown that scholarships are so important. These scholarships might be someone's like saving grace. Like they might not have been able to attend WVU if their family has to worry about, you know, catching up from, you know, like unemployment or anything like that. But with my scholarships, I just really just it showed me that that stressor is not even something that I have to worry about and that's like such a privilege for me and that's such an opportunity that I'm just so grateful for. And that's just kind of what COVID has made me realize even more. I think something special also about West Virginia or attending WVU is that you really want to see like West Virginia succeed. It's like not a secret that West Virginia, you know, isn't the most, you know, wealthiest state. And a lot of students tend to be disadvantaged. And so you kind of like really root for West Virginians and you root for people who go here because it just sometimes seems like everything's like not in your favor. And so having those scholarships, being able to further your education um, and have a successful future is, I think, super special. And um, it's definitely uh, inspired me to do similar acts in the future.